हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई एम संजय गुप्ता इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट स्किल बेस्ड इंटरव्यू क्वेश्चंस रिलेटेड टू सी प्रोग्रामिंग बिफोर स्टार्टिंग यू कैन नोट माय इंफॉर्मेशन व्हिच इंक्लूड्स माय ऐप बुक्स एंड यूट्यूब चैनल सो फर्स्ट कोर्ट सेगमेंट यू हैव टू आइडेंटिफाई इट्स आउटपुट सो इट हैज स्टैटिक वेरिएबल देन प्रिंट एफ देन एफ कंडीशन इन साइड एफ वी आर कॉलिंग मेन so if we uh, define a function and we call that function inside its definition it is called recursion so this is recursive method so uh, first find out its output now compare your output with this 5 4 3 2 1 so initially vr is 5 then printf will print 5 and then vr becomes 4 because it is post decrement then if vr so value of vr is 4 so 4 will be considered as true because it is non zero value if it is zero then it will be considered as false then uh, if is true so main will be called so main will call itself then again static int var equals to 5 will be executed now you have to understand the characteristic of static uh, that is static variables are variables are initialized only once so this time we have called a main function a uh, second time so uh, the output of first main definition was 4 so it will start from 4 so this uh, declaration statement will be ignored and directly printf will be executed so printf will print now 4 and var will become 3 then if var is 3 so 3 is true again main will be called then printf will print 3 and minus minus so var will become 2 so uh, similarly this process will repeat uh, till value of vr is 1 uh, if uh, vr is 0 then this condition will be false and main function will not be called so uh, hence output will be 5 4 3 2 and 1 so here two concepts are used one is static and second one is recursion this is next code segment so inside this code segment a pointer uh, is declared which is of character type it contains a string then ptr plus plus and printf percent as ptr so identify its output now you can compare your output with this so it is uh, printing atvik space man so satvik man is a string which is stored inside ptr here ptr plus plus is performed so ptr initially points to s when we uh, uh, execute ptr plus plus means ptr uh, has shifted to next address which belongs to a then printf uh, con uh, containing percent as then ptr so here ptr is uh, uh, containing address of a and percent as prints the string till null uh, values available so beginning from a till null uh, value all the characters will be printed on console if we uh, remove this statement ptr plus plus from here and we directly print ptr by uh, declaring uh, this uh, pointer declaration statement then satvik man will be printed on console this is next code segment in this segment and and or combination is there so you have to identify its output so its output is 00131 so here a uh, five variable you have to print i j k l and m so i is 0 j is 0 k is 3 sorry k is 1 l is 3 and m is 1 final values initially i is minus 1 j is minus 1 k is 0 l is 2 and m so uh, this expression you have to evaluate so first i plus plus so this is post increment so here minus 1 you have to use so minus 1 is true because it is non zero value then and j plus plus again it is post increment so j uh, will remain minus 1 so minus 1 and minus 1 so this expression will be considered as true after calculation i will become zero and j will become zero because post increment operation will be performed then uh, this and operation left hand side part is true now we have to check this right hand side part so k contains 0 so 0 means false and this is post increment operation 
so this whole expression is now false and after a k evaluation k will become 1 so remember i is now 0 j is 0 and k becomes 1 here or is available so left hand side part of or is now false so we have to check its right hand side part which is l plus plus so value of l is 2 which is non zero so right hand side part is true it means this whole equation is considered as true and m will receive 1 because uh, expression is now true and after this uh, calculation l plus plus will will be performed so value of l will become 3 so now you can uh, see the output i 0 j1 sorry j j0 k will also be 1 then l is 3 and m is 1 because uh, m is containing the uh, overall expressions result uh, and expression is true that's why m will receive 1 so this is another code segment so you can see uh, this will show an error because a plus plus then plus then plus plus a so here uh, space is not available so space is not available that's why you can't identify how many plus plus operations are available with uh, which a variable so you cannot write all the plus operators without uh, without having any space this is another code segment here i is 100 j is 200 then only percent d dot dot percent d is available no variable is there so it will print 200 and 100 so here when we uh, declare a variable its value uh, is stored inside a stack so stack is similar to an array which is known for last in first out so when i variable is declared so 100 will be stored inside stack then j will store 200 into stack then this printf will print two integer values so it will uh, access the memory stack automatically so first 200 will be printed because it is top of stack and then 100 will be printed which is just after 200 this is another code segment you have to identify output of this code segment so it will also show an error variable cannot be used with case so you can see that here b is used with case keyword so this is a rule uh, for switch statement we can only use constant values with case keyword we cannot use variables with case keyword if we do so then compiler will generate an sent uh, compiler will generate a syntax error so you have to take care of it thank you for watching these question and answers hope these uh, questions will be beneficial for uh, preparation of your interview skills thank you for watching this video